I feel that the traditions in martial arts have come over hundreds of years. And there's an old saying, the more things change, the more they stay the same. And I think now, more than ever, even though we think we've evolved, we've changed, and with IT, I think more, now more than ever, we need the values and the traditions of martial arts. My name is Robert Mustard. I'm from Vancouver, Canada. I was born and raised in Toronto, Ontario, where I started my martial arts training in 1970. I practiced a couple other martial arts before starting Yoshin Kanaikido in 1977. And I practiced in Toronto for 10 years. And then I went to Japan in 1986. And I lived in Tokyo for nine and a half years. I returned to Vancouver and I opened up my dojo in 2003. And I've been teaching there ever since. It's an honor to be here. My name is Joe Tambu. I was born in Malaysia. I started Aikido at the age of 11 and at the age of 19, I moved to Australia. I've been to the Ocean Camp many times and I live and teach Aikido as a full-time thing. The real point of the traditional martial arts is to really kind of correct the weak point in your character and learn how to use the martial arts training to enhance your life. And I think that's the big difference between traditional Budo and some other Budo that just has competition. And the important thing is winning. Uh, the best thing you have to learn about in Budo is you have to defeat yourself. I feel that the traditions in martial arts have come over hundreds of years. And there's an old saying, the more things change, the more they stay the same. And I think now more than ever, even though we think we've evolved, we've changed and with IT, I think more, now more than ever, we need the values and the traditions of martial arts. If you think about children today, we think about the next generation, what we want for them lies in what was in the past. And I think therein lies the strength of the traditions that we hold. The unfortunate thing is many people confuse tradition with being conservative. That's two separate things. And if you get your mind around that, tradition will serve us well in the future. I think there's good teachers, bad teachers, good students, bad students. And to lay the fault at the teacher's doorstep is wrong. As some students stay for a little while and don't get enough and then go off and become teachers. They become bad teachers. Um, it varies and it's all a case by case thing. Um, and it's a nice thing to say, you know. But I think a good teacher and a good student go hand in hand. That's the perfect mix. Just like having a good shte and a good uke. The rank doesn't really matter. Uh, what's important is what you do for your students. And if, it, if this makes sense, when I was leaving Japan, I asked one of my teachers, uh, you probably heard of Takino Takofumi Sensei. I asked him and said, how can I tell that when I go back to Canada, my Aikido is going to continue getting better? And he said to me, you can't. And I thought, oh, okay. He said, I will look at your students and then I'll know how you're doing. And I thought, great no pressure there but it's true it's really true uh, there's no such thing as i think bad martial arts but there are some bad teachers a good friend of mine thinks it's a big circle he thinks the traditional stuff's coming from back around and uh, i hope i'm still there for it but the truth is um, I'm not really interested in making lots of money doing Yoshinkan Aikido. Uh, my job is to produce good students and I think I'm doing that. And the real traditional martial arts is it's blood, sweat and tears, which is fun for me, but that's what it is. And it's and if you talk to someone, you know, if you do martial arts and you sell, you get someone and you get go down in five years, then it's just all wrong. It's just all wrong. Uh, and you got to sweat for it. Um, Drega Sensei once said to me, the true test of any martial art is the test of time. For as long as you have something to offer people, you will stay valid, you will stay alive. And when you don't, you will die out. And I always thought that was a shame, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's better to die out than sell ourselves so much that we don't recognize ourselves anymore. And it's, I think, the challenge of every teacher 
the challenge of every dojo to try and stay relevant. Most of the high level teachers I've met don't really like each other. And, but the truth is I respect him a lot and I really think his Aikido is top notch. And uh, the biggest thing is respect. And we do it differently uh, because that's the way it should be. And um, I think it's a really good balance and it's really good for students to see two people can really get along. And uh, I really respect this man a lot and I love his Aikido. Uh, he's always mean to me, but that's okay. I can, my skin's pretty thick, I can handle it. And it's just always an honor to be with him on the mat. And I think the real truth is, the real beneficiaries that are the, are the students who come to the seminars, to be honest. Um, I met Master Sensei 30 years ago in the Yoshinkai. And uh, without knowing it, he helped me a lot. Uh, he's always my senior, older than me as well. Um, and he helped me a lot. It is because of him, I believe, that I was the last person that Kancho Sensei tested because uh, he forced me to test. Um, and our teaching with him on the mats is an honor. It's a privilege and an honor. And it's something I don't take lightly. We get along well, both on and off the mats. We do things quite differently. And, but the principles are the same. And we don't agree on everything either. Uh, like, you know, he thinks he's better looking than me, but I think otherwise. We don't agree on everything, but what we agree on is bigger than what we don't agree on. And we, and so it's okay. We, we say contradictory things, but it's okay. Um, and it's, it's an honor and a pleasure. The real thing about Budo training for me, I think it's made me, I think it's made me nice. And it's made me aware of, be aware of all the good things I do and more importantly, all the bad things I do. And really I'm supposed to try and fix it, but I'm a bit stubborn. So I'm still a work in progress, but I'm still young at 75. That's what he says. I got lots of time. I think it's the way you live your life, the way you conduct yourself. For me, Budo, Aikido is Budo. Not the way it's being done in a lot of places now, because it's just like a martial dance in a lot of places. Kancho Sensei said that Aikido is first and foremost a Budo. Never forget that. Even though you never use it in a real situation, never forget it's first and, first and last a Budo. If you do forget that, you lose all essence of it. But with any martial art, be it Kendo or whatever, you must remember its roots and you must remember why you started it. Uh, most people started martial art for the martial reason. And I think we have to keep that. We have to build on it. Otherwise, we lose it. And we just, as teachers, we're taking students' money. We're not giving them anything. As practitioners, it's a lie. Uh, you know, maybe you'll never use it to fight. But when you come to the mat, you got to have that mentality. you got to have that spirit. you got to have that focus.